Most eukaryotic genes are composed of numerous short coding sequences called exons, interspersed between long stretches of non-coding sequences called introns. The initial messenger RNA molecule copied from a gene includes introns as well as exons. Before this RNA molecule can be used to make a protein, the introns must be removed by a process called RNA splicing. A structure called a spliceosome plays a key role in RNA splicing. The spliceosome is composed of several small molecules called SNRNPs, or SNRPs. SNRPs are made up of protein and small RNA molecules. Formation of the spliceosome begins when one kind of SNRP binds to the 5' prime end of an intron, and a different kind binds to the 3' prime end of an intron. Additional SNRPs then interact with the complex, bringing the two ends of the intron together and causing the intron to form a loop. This also gathers all of the SNRPs together as the completed spliceosome. The intron is then cut out and the exons are joined or spliced together. The spliceosome then falls apart as the SNRPs are released.